first device we have is called a Zener diode. It's a diode that is similar to your standard diode. Um, it has a 0.7 volt drop in forward range and what is really interesting about this thing is that if you reverse bias this diode it has a voltage drop that is way below breakdown or way below destruction and it maintains that through uh, a bunch of different currents. Let's have a look at the curve for the uh, Zener diode. This is forward biased and this would be reverse and this is current in forward so at about 0.7 volts this thing uh, starts conducting okay so at 0.7 volts this thing starts conducting now a normal diode runs along in reverse very little leakage current and then all of a sudden poof That's what happens to a normal diode. You get it past the reverse breakdown and it will go up in smoke. So, uh, what's different about that than a Zener? If you reverse bias this thing, it will, this is IZ at the knee, it will start to conduct in reverse at whatever voltage that the manufacturer's data sheets say it will. Uh, somewhere down here, when you get too much current through it, it goes poof. So this is IZ max. Now the interesting thing about it is, is once it gets to this voltage, the Zener diode conducts, and it doesn't matter what current is going through it, it is dropping the same amount of voltage so it acts as if it's a, a battery um, at this point so no matter how much current's going through it we have uh, the same voltage and that's the Zener voltage there is another schematic symbol for a Zener diode that is not so much different looks like this basically they are the same thing this is reverse biased that would be forward this is also called the IZ the current for the Zener for the test and this is the, the voltage that the manufacturer will guarantee at a certain test current. And that's this right here. So, and this one is, they say, IZ max here, current through the Zener max here, and what they're talking about again is the maximum current that can go through it before it goes up in smoke. You can only get a device so hot, power dissipated, is equal to the Zener voltage times the current through it. And if you exceed that, it goes up in smoke.